My name is Sarah DeLine. I'm in Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm 16 years old and I've just come back from Silicon Boo working at a girls hostel. A lot of the work we did at the hostel was building. Uh, part of the building was carrying sand, digging trenches, and basically just preparing foundation for building by the Nepali men to be done. Um, one cool thing is that when we got there right away, we noticed that the houses were made out of sand and sandbags, and that was really impressive and new. Um, we've never seen that before, so it was different for us, and they had been working on that for seven months, which is different for us too, because houses go up so fast in the U.S., and here they spend so much time working on earth houses, is what they're called. So we get there, and we did, we started by splitting up into groups, and we each did different jobs, breaking rocks, digging trenches, carrying dirt into the house. Um, I personally carried dirt and dug trenches, and one thing we noticed is that, so we spent about half a day digging a trench, and then that next morning, a whole wall was built over it by the Nepali men. So we spent like, what, five hours maybe digging, and they got a wall up so fast in probably two or three hours. And it's just so impressive for a person to see that, to see the work ethic and the, I don't know, the strength that comes from people who know what they need and they're willing to do whatever to get it, and being able to work with them is just amazing. Well, we also noticed, so when we trekked up to the actual hostel, the first thing we noticed were the houses. They have blue tops and a white base, and they look like adobe houses, but once you build them, you realize the engineering behind it, and it's all insulated by earth and resources that you can find all around you, and we're not used to that. We're used to being having wood imported or a bunch of resources imported, but really, due to our engineer, Rom, he was able to utilize everything that we had with us and to create a hostel. And for us, like, for people, working on a hostel, it's amazing because you know you're building a future in a way. It sounds cheesy, but the truth is that when you build a house or a hostel, you realize that you're building a place for somebody to stay and go to school, and education is everything here, and everywhere, everywhere. Education is everything everywhere. And when you're working and building and physically moving big piles of sand and then going back and seeing more sand, you are more motivated than you would going home and doing stuff. Because you, you know you're building something more than just a house. And it sounds cheesy, but the truth is, is that by building this house, you're building a future for people. And by building a future, you can be changing the future. Because you don't know, one of these girls who are going to be living in the hostel that we helped build could change Nepal one day or even Asia or even the world.